So this is Frank Radisson at CES 2012, uh, where I worked on a panel uh, with a bunch of great people from Bravo and Discovery and Yahoo and um, Ovation. Uh, we were talking about social TV and you know, does social TV have uh, a legitimate place right now? Um, can it be intrusive? Is it a good thing? I think the most important thing that came out of all of CES for me. Uh, wasn't a lesson that I hadn't already learned. It was just something that was I was reminded of. That you can't make television for the other people that are in these rooms that are here at these conventions. You have to make it for the viewer or the user, or the person that 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 actually um, uh, consumes the content. So, Michael, what have you seen here at CES that you like? Well, in CES 2012, Frank, what I found really interesting was the immense number of mobile devices, tablets, phones, and I think it's going to be very impactful for the social consumer. Whether you're in front of a TV or you want to grab content off of your television or off the web, you can now have it traveling with you, which is very powerful. Uh, so the consumer can feel more in command of that experience. So if they are watching something in their home, now all of a sudden they can draw up that content on their tablet. In fact, TiVo is having a device where they can push the content from one TV to the next and also to inter uh, initial devices like their iPad. Companies such as Samsung are trying to bring that, that digital experience into everything where now your washing machine will notify you when you're in another room in the house that your laundry's done. For their primary customer, it's extremely powerful that they can now not be a slave to that machine and they can feel informed at all points in time with the information that's relevant to them when they want it, the way they want it, as they're walking around.